I was listening to a podcast the other day and this this podcaster was doing an interview with this gentleman, a uh, businessman, and uh, he had asked him, man, how, how do you stay motivated? You know, how, how do you continue to be motivated to, 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 to do you, the business that you're doing? And the guy was like, man, you know, F motivation. I do believe that discipline is important, um, but I feel like motivation is equally or almost as equally important. I think motivation is the fuel for the fire and discipline keeps the fire going. All right, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the new episode of the Miles High Podcast. This is Miles Jr. I'm your host, and as always, the vision and goal of this podcast is to entertain, educate, and elevate you miles high above your fears, your doubts, and any limitations that you may think exist. Always knowing that those limitations only exist in your mind. All right. All right. So I want to talk about um, motivation versus discipline on this episode. Uh, I was listening to a podcast the other day, and this this podcaster was doing an interview with this gentleman, a uh, businessman, and uh, he had asked him, man, how, how do you stay motivated? You know, how, how do you continue to be motivated to, 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 to do you, the business that you're doing? And the guy was like, man, you know, F motivation. You know, this motivation is, is, is like unnecessary or it shouldn't be something that you think about, right? He was like, just be disciplined. You know, be, be disciplined. Being disciplined is, is more important than it trumps motivation. Um, and I thought about that, right? I, I thought about what he said, and I disagree. I, I, I disagree. I, I, but I don't disagree entirely with what he's saying, right? I do believe that discipline is important. Um, but I feel like motivation is equally or almost as equally important as, as discipline, right? And that's what, that, I wanted to have that conversation because, you know, a lot of, a lot of times, uh, you know, I get these uh, – these ideas of like what I want to discuss and uh, they, they come from, you know, things that I'm, I'm listening to conversations that I'm having things that I'm seeing. Um, and I, I like to bring, you know, these type of things to the pod just so that I can uh, share my opinions uh, and, you know, hopefully get some feedback from you guys in the comments or, or, you know, on whatever platform that you're watching or listening to. Um, so let's, let's, I, I want to discuss motivation versus discipline. Uh, and I want to start with defining them both, right? So motivation is defined as the inner drive or desire to achieve a goal, right? <clears throat> and discipline is the ability to consistently apply effort to reach that goal. So I, I feel like they work in tandem with each other, right? Um, I think that you need both, but I think I do think one is more important than the other, right? And I, I'm going to get to that. Uh, as we progress through uh, this this part, um, so is one of them more important? Uh, that's that's the question that I'm, I'm that I'm asking. Uh, I think that they aren't as equally as important, but you know, they're both of them are almost as equally as important. Um, you know, I think motivation is the fuel for the fire, and discipline keeps the fire going. Right, so I, I feel like. Motivation gets it started, right? We're all motivated to do something in, in some aspect of our lives, whether that's our personal life, where we're talking about our personal health, uh, whether that's our professional life, where we're talking about being able to take care of ourselves and our family. We're all, we're all motivated, right? And, and there are different types of motivations, right? There are, there are internal motivations and there are external motivations, right? The external motivations are like the rewards that we can receive, um, recognition, um, the, the power and influence that we get through, through doing or completing a task. And those are like positive, what I would term uh, positive motivators. Uh, and then there are some negative motivators or semi-negative motivators, right? And that could be uh, the pressure that we're under to, to complete or the pressure that we're under to, to do what it is that we are doing or need to do. Um, or it could be like getting disciplined, right? Uh, you know, all of us grew up 
with some authoritative figure um, around us and you know we've been told to do something and if you don't do it you can feel right if you don't learn you can feel he's had a, at least i used to add a, quite a bit growing up right and so you're motivated to, to to do things to avoid being you know disciplined right or to avoid getting a spanking or to avoid getting scolded um so all of these are external motivators right they're motivate motivators that are are driven from external factors um and then there are internal motivators right the internal motivation that that we experience come from our personal values, come from our beliefs, and then come from our personal goals, right? So things that we adhere to, the principles that we believe in, the goals that we have set for ourselves, the uh, self-gratification that we wanna, that we wanna feel you know, from accomplishing uh, any particular task or, or, or job or you know, whatever that, that thing is that you're doing. Um, all of those are motivators that motivate us internally. You know, and, and like I said, I, I think uh, that motivation gets it started, right? So let's take the example of, um, and this is always an easy example. This is an example that pretty much everyone uses, and it's it's uh, physical health, right? We want, we have this this desire to um, have a certain physical physique, or we have a desire to better ourselves from a health standpoint, whether we're we're experiencing some health issues or whatever the case. So we, we set out on this journey to, uh, to exercise, to, to eat well, to do all these things that motivate us to be better and be healthier individuals. Now, you know, I can attest to, you know, being motivated to go to the gym. And, you know, I mentioned this uh, in my first part of the year where uh, we, there's an influx of, of people that go to the gym January of every year, right? Everyone has this New Year resolutions where they want to be healthy and they want to uh, work, start working on their summer body from the beginning of the year. And then, you know, February rolls around and, you know, the crowd dwindles and it's less and less people that, uh, that come to the gym. And I think, you know, at the beginning of the year, everyone is motivated. Everyone is motivated to, to want to do something, want to act on something, want to get physically active, right? And that motivation dies, you know, it's 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 quite often that we we are mo- motivated to do something or motivated to to want to achieve something, um, and then that motivation just kind of dwindles a bit, right? Uh, and I truly think that in order for us to continue on that journey, we have to allow ourselves to develop um, a disciplined life, working towards like so like whether I'm motivated to to go to the gym today or not. Uh, I choose to go because I want to discipline myself in going. And that happens to me a lot. Now, I will admit, some days when I'm not feeling motivated to go, I don't go, right? I take the time to rest if I'm tired or if I just don't feel like going, like I don't go uh, that particular day. But what I do mentally is I have a makeup day. So there's always a day uh, in my week uh, for working out that I have a day that I can play with, right? So if I I'm not feeling motivated on one day of the week. I I have the the ability not to go because there's always a makeup day for me. Um, and then if I go on the day that you know quote unquote is a makeup day, then I just have an extra day that I've added to to my workout week. Um, and that's kind of how I try to balance everything, right? Because we're not all always going to be motivated, right? There's there's going to be times where we're just not feeling it. You know, I don't, I don't feel like going. I don't want to go. Uh, I'm just not into it today. I'm not mentally there. My body aches. I'm going through something personally and just, you know, don't, they can't find the motivation to, to go. Um, and that happens, right? But I think we need to develop uh, discipline. We need, we need to somehow incorporate discipline within the journey that we're on because discipline is going to help us to finish Uh, because if we're all if we're only focusing on motivation we're definitely not going to finish and that's and that's what happens to people at the top of the year like when they go to the gym right they they have this uh enthusiasm and this this energy that that they're engulfed with and be like okay i'm gonna start the gym this is the this is my year this is the year that i'm gonna go i'm gonna i'm gonna complete what I start this year and every, you know, everyone goes into the new year thinking that way. Um, and then, you know, four weeks go by, February rolls around and, you know, it's harder than you expected or 
it it takes more especially from a from from a dieting aspect uh it takes a lot more than you anticipated um and you just lose focus right you lose the motivation to to want to to want to follow through and essentially it's it's we, we just lack the discipline we lack the discipline to push beyond uh what gratifies us right in hopes of looking at the bigger picture and saying okay i'm gonna sacrifice you know taste in food for a while or sacrifice my indulgences in my diet um so that i can reach an, an ultimate goal so that i can get healthier right so that i can better myself from a physical standpoint um so how do we cultivate motivation and discipline um and i think you know i i i i use three things mentally um to ensure that i am um, I am motivated to to do what I want to do, but I'm more so disciplined in continuing, right? Because like I said, motivation isn't always going to be there. And you know, just going back to the part that I listened to um that spurred this topic, uh I think that's what the the speaker was was trying to say. Like when he said, "Man, forget motivation, you know, focus on discipline." I don't think he was saying that, man, motivation isn't important because I I think he was focusing more on the fact that we're not going to be motivated all the time. Right, we're not going to want to do things all the time. We're not going to want to get up. We're not going to want to work the late hours. We're not going to want to be motivated, or we're not going to be motivated to to want to do things that we just may not feel like doing that day. Um, but if we could incorporate discipline, right? If we could be disciplined in our habits, we could be disciplined in our processes. We could be disciplined in our our work ethics, right? The methods that we use, yes hone in on the discipline that we need to apply in order for us to keep going uh then we're eventually going to uh reach our goals right so h- how do we cultivate motivation and discipline the first thing i do and i recommend you do is to set clear and incremental goals right so obviously we have a long term goal that we want to achieve whether that long term is termed for a year or 12 months or whether it's less than a year or whether it's 5 years like whatever that long term goal is like we we set the 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 bar like this is what i want to achieve but once we do that i think we need to work our way backwards to say okay if i want to lose 20 pounds let's start with losing 2 right let's 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 work on from 2 let's work on losing 4 and you increment incrementally get to the the goal that you've set and and i think that's how we can uh, reignite our motivation right cuz sometimes when we when, when we go off motivation right we're we're eager to accomplish the larger goal whatever that goal is and then the motivation sometimes dies when it doesn't happen when we wanted to or as soon as we wanted to or how we think it should happen we're less motivated um I think we need to focus more on uh, the incremental goals, right? Setting setting goals incrementally to achieve the larger goal. So that, you know, once we reach those goals, the, those incremental goals, like you're inspired, right? You're re-energized, you're re-motivated to be like, "Oh man, okay, I lose 2 pounds. Okay, let's work on 4," right? Because we're we're accepting the fact that we're not always going to be motivated, right? but we're allowing ourselves to reignite that motivation with the with the incremental goals that we're going to hopefully achieve. Uh so set clear and incremental goals uh in order to uh cultivate the motivation and discipline that we need. The second thing that we do is that I suggest we do is we establish routines and habits. Now routines and habits can become very mundane okay i know it could be boring it's it's could be the cause even of uh losing the motivation that we initially started out with because you know we have to eat greens every day we have to uh eat chicken breast every day you know <laughs> you know my wife so on my on my uh fitness journey and the diet that i'm on i eat a lot of chicken breast right now if you If you are a chicken breast eater yourself, you know that chicken breast is one of like the most boringest thing to eat. There's only so much you can do with chicken breast, right? And literally, I think I've I've I ate chicken breast. There was a period where I ate chicken breast for like 4 months straight. I'm talking lunch and dinner. That's all I ate, chicken breast. And like my wife would get to the point like chicken breast again, like you, you ain't tired? Like you don't 
like how are you gonna and like sometimes she'll eat it right she sometimes like it but a lot of the times it's like bro i ain't no chicken breast today like you gotta eat it make something else so i can make me something else or whatever and it's all because of the routine that i'm in right i'm trying to to establish routines and develop habits right good habits um i went as far and you know again she she teases me now because I have a food scale now, right? So I, I literally weigh everything, and it, to the point where you know I'm weighing snacks. So if I get like uh, peanuts, some peanuts, some almonds, <laughs> some mixed nuts, <laughs> I weigh it, right? Because I'm conscious of all right. I have to you know measure out my calorie intake for the day, and that's how uh, that's how Regimented. pinpoint that I that I w- want to get to. You say. Said regimented. Yeah, that's how regimented I am, and 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 you know it it annoys her because, like, if if we're eating something together, especially if we go out to eat, right? I'd be like, all right, what this what is this? Let's see what this sauce is. What and I p- plug it into the app I have on my phone. And be like, all right, I only could eat I could eat two of these. <laughs> I can't eat no more than that, and I only could order X Y Z off the menu. And she's like, oh my goodness, bro, like just live a little, like eat. You know what I mean? And, you know, she teases me, but I, she fully understands, like, why, like, the process that, that I go through. Um, and it's it all has to do with me trying to develop and establish a routine and build good habits. Um, and that, that honestly helps in the process of uh, working on my discipline. Now, does um, am I able to stick with that for a long period of time? If you think four and five months is a long period of time, then the answer is yes. That's not long to me. I would look at it more as like a 12 month period. There are times where I fall off, right? I, whether it's, you know, I start traveling or <clears throat> I start taking like breaks, right? And because there are like times where you could have like cheat meals and I'm just talking about like uh, physical health perspective. There are times where you could have cheat meals and sometimes I may overindulge in those cheat meals or extend the days to have cheat meals or whatever. So, you know, there are some setbacks, but it's all about balance, right? I. I don't want to demotivate myself, so I sometimes I allow myself to indulge just so that I can be inspired and motivated to get back to it, um, to get back to the routine, to get back to a disciplined, uh, to a disciplined lifestyle. Um, but that takes that that really takes the the intentional uh, fortitude to really build a routine for yourself uh, and develop good habits, establish good habits. Um, and then lastly, assess and refuel, right? An assessment is just like measuring where you are. Like, you know, if, you, if the goal was to lose 20 pounds, like where am I today? Okay, I've lost 10 pounds. Okay, cool. I'm, I got 10 more to go. So let's, let's get back to it, right? And let's, let's try to, to get this f- faster than, let's try to get these next 10 faster than I got the first 10. Um, so it's all about like assessing um, what am I doing right? Am I doing this right? Am I getting to achieving these goals, these incre- incremental goals in a timeline that is that is justifiable, or, or, you know, that is appropriate? Should I adjust things? What what can I do? Can I do some things better? Can I uh, extend um, or lessen the, the days that I have cheat meals? And, you know, you could apply this to any part of your life, right? right? Whatever that is that you're doing, whether it's business uh, and you determining, okay, I'm going to work x amount of hours a day some days i can work more some days i'm gonna work less because i want to you know uh allot some time to my family and my kids or you know whatever that case is for you um but it's it's assessing and then refueling yourself to go back at it uh i don't think we should ignore the fact that we need motivators we need to motivate ourselves but i think is it is more important for us to uh develop and live a disciplined lifestyle lifestyle because discipline is going to, it's the thing that, that is going to get us to achieve the goal, right? Sticking to it, staying at it. You know, I, I look at LeBron James and the talent that he has, right? But the NBA has, you know, a little over 400 uh, players in the league in any given year. And there's always a best player, right? And the reason why he's been at the level he's at, even now, you know, approaching the age of 40 years old, 21 years into the league, he's able to do the things that he's doing because he lives a disciplined lifestyle, right? He has a routine that he goes through each day. Now, looking from the outside in, like it looks boring, it looks hard, it looks, it, it looks, uh, it's like something like you don't want to do. Like, man, I can't do that. That's too difficult. But if you're serious about it, right? If you're serious about the goal that you set out to achieve, then 
the motivating factor will be to establish and live that disciplined lifestyle, to go through those routines, to develop those good habits. Um, so I do think that um, discipline is important and it's probably the key factor, but I think motivation is just as important, right? I don't think we should do away with or not worry about if we're motivated or not, right? Because we're, we're just not going to be motivated all the time. Uh, and persons who maybe are motivated all the time just are in different places in their lives at, the, at that particular moment, right? And I think that's entirely fine. And, you know, I don't want to say that because of where, you know, that guy is, he's wrong in his view. Um, I just think that we should be open to, to different views, right? Open to different aspects of who is motivated, when they're motivated, who is more disciplined, when they're more disciplined, right? Because I'm 100% more disciplined than my wife. That doesn't mean my wife isn't disciplined in like other aspects of her life that I'm not disciplined in. You know, and I think we just need to be uh, uh, sensitive and, and empathetic to like the differences that we have as human beings, right? We're all, we all do things, we all see things differently. Um, and trying to have, you know, her, for example, do things the way I want to do it. Like imagine if I forced her to eat chicken breast for four months straight for lunch and dinner. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> like that wouldn't, that wouldn't bode well. And I know that. So I wouldn't force her to do it. I wouldn't force her to be on the same diet that I'm on or force her to have the same workout routines that I have or force her to do anything that I've developed as a habit for myself, right? I would hope that, you know, through the process, she, it, it, it helps her or causes her to develop good habits as she goes so that she uh, can develop a, a disciplined lifestyle as well. And that, that's how I think we can work together to uh, encourage and impact individuals around us, right? Because we, I think deep down in, in, inside each of us, we all want a little more discipline, right? We we are in awe of persons that we we identify as being a very disciplined individual, um, being able to do things even when they don't want to do it, right? That's what discipline is. Um, and I think if the, the sooner we can get to those those uh, aspects of our lives when we ignore whether we're motivated or not, but we still push through, then I think the quicker we're going to be able to achieve the goals that we've set. All right, so uh, that's set clear incremental goals, um, establish routines and habits, and then assess and refuel. Um, I think those doing those three things, uh, it helps us to cultivate our motivation and our discipline as we go through all of these processes in life. All right, so that brings us to the portion of the pod where I leave with you a milestone. And the milestone for today is simply when motivation dies, let discipline take its place. You know, I like I said, we are all going to lose motivation in accomplishing and achieving goals at a certain point. But I think if we allow ourselves to develop these good habits and be disciplined and live a disciplined lifestyle and let the discipline take the place of the lack of motivation, we're going to achieve our goals much faster. So when motivation dies, let discipline take take its place uh, and you're going to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. All right. I'm rooting for you. All right, so that brings us to the end of this pod. As always, the goal and vision of this pod is to entertain, educate, and elevate you miles high above your fears, your doubts, and any limitations that you may think exist, always knowing that those limitations only exist in your mind. All right, until next time, you guys stay blessed. <laughs> <laughs>